it's a transition day. The Fiat 124 is going to Adios and the Toyota Mirai, the hydrogen powered, whatchamacallit, is showing up today. But right now the Fiat is, he's waiting for me. I'll be, I'll be right back. The Fiat is gone and literally at the same time the Toyota Mirai just showed up right up here. Let's go check it out. brought in a, uh, a rather interesting vehicle. I did, I did. Not the normal kind Not of car. Not the normal car because, you see every day. Uh, you see Toyotas around all the time, especially in this town, pretty much everywhere. Absolutely, every other car is a Prius. But you don't see this kind of car. No, not, not as much. Yeah. You will one day. <laughs> Very little by little, you'll see a lot more on the road. This is the Toyota Mirai. What what makes this car so special? So the reason the Mirai is awesome and very unique, um, like he was like Fireball was mentioning, it runs off of hydrogen. So you don't have to go to a gas pump and fill it up with gas, and it doesn't release CO2 into the air. What this beautiful vehicle behind me, right there, does, it runs off of hydrogen fuel. So therefore, also a fuel cell vehicle, if you want to call it that. But the beautiful thing about this car, the only thing coming out of that tailpipe is water vapor, and that's it. So it's a zero emissions vehicle when you're driving around the road. It's beautiful. He knows what. He's talking about uh, and it all it comes with its own little education plan which we're about to yes. experience so michael's going to be taking me to the hydrogen fueling station correct so right car. now there's about there's uh over 30 stations in california right now all up and down the coast you could let, actually drive from san diego all the way up to san francisco area and uh in silicon valley even go over to lake tahoe and Truckee if you wanted it's exactly like a gas process you go to a gas station a lot of people think they're dealership only yeah. the, these pumps are right at a regular gas station you'll see as we'll show today you'll see a gas station with all the gas pumps, then right to the side is a fuel cell pump or hydrogen pump. Will, they, will there be candy at this gas station? Uh, yeah, they're probably going to be. Okay. I'm, a, I'm a fan of Snickers, Good so to go. maybe Good I'll buy a Snickers bar. All right, let's go. All right, cool. This thing's like a spaceship. Yeah, it's, and as you can tell, it's extremely quiet. There's no <laughs> gas engine underneath yep. this hood whatsoever. It's a computer, a bunch of radiators to keep everything cool. So it came out 2014 in Japan. Okay. And then it came out October 21st, 2015 in the U.S. And the reason I know that exact date is because I'm, you might be as well, huge Back to the Future fan. Oh yeah. So Back to the Future Part 2, <laughs> they kind of worked that in together because Doc Brown actually uses kind of like a you know, Mr. Fusion in the back and yeah. he dumps trash and compost, yeah. gets the Mirai going, uh, the, the DeLorean going. So we actually had a really cool commercial with uh, Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd mm -hmm. when this car came out. I remember that. First. So. Yeah. Yeah. So for about almost a year and a half, this car's been in the U.S., two and a half in the uh, in Japan. If they do come up with a Back to the Future 4, it could be this car. It could be this car, yeah. But then absolutely. it's already fully prepped, so it just needs a time travel. Correct. All you need is it. just a flux capacitor That's and you're it. good to go. Yeah. Yeah. stations for the hydrogen pretty much the same as gasoline very easy to run really cool
my term to drive the, the Toyota Mirai, but the product specialist has been replaced with Kenny. What can I say? Driving a hydrogen-powered car, man. This is freaking cool. I know. I told Bob. He goes, did you look at the engine? And I said, there is no engine. It's got four hamsters and a, uh, a turtle. And he said, well, did, it might be just steam. It might be cow parts. Is that hydro, uh, hydrogen? Maybe. <laughs> How do they get their butts in there? I'm going to get these numbers probably all wrong, but it's something like this. The these cars, that, we're not, not going to be talking about cow farts right now. Oh. These cars are around $57,000 if you were to buy one outright. Or you could lease one for $2,400 down and about $350 a month. And with that, you get three full years of free hydrogen that, that Toyota pays for, like $50,000 worth of hydrogen. How do they get the hydrogen to you? Well, what they do is they line up all the cows so that they all fart at the same time. And you have to catch it in a burlap bag. Yeah. <laughs> you, get, you get a catcher's mitt with the car. It's, it's the coolest deal, it really is. Big thanks to Toyota. They gave us a free Starbucks card, along with the hydrogen car. You're going to ask questions? We're, we're up having coffee, thanks to Toyota. And we ran into Susie. This is Susie Demeter. She is a phenomenal, phenomenal photographer. Hey, thank you. Here thank in, you. Uh, here in, uh, in Malibu. What, what advice would you give to young photojournalists that wanted to be doing what you're doing? That's a really great question, because there's a whole variety of things under that. So what I would say is just go out and try different things and different levels and different angles and think about composition. Like when you look at a comic book, look at it. Storyboards. Storyboards. Mm -hmm. And awesome. that's how you capture things in different perspectives. Yes. The expert right here. That's right. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> We're up at the Trancus Market, just kind of poking around. We uh, drove the, uh, I'm not the Toyota. I'm, I'm poking. poking. Oh, there's a doggy over there. We, have, we don't get up here to look around too much, so we are. I'm going to say hi to the doggy. There, aren't you a happy doggy? Aren't you a happy doggy? Yes, oh, good boy. Kathy's looking for basil. Very particular kind. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Serranos. of its own. I, I, I didn't know it was on. Great day. Always kind of a, a transition day is always fun when a car leaves and you're kind of like, whoa, it's, it's leaving. I don't get to drive it anymore. And then a new one shows up. Just spectacular because the future is here. It's not like we need to wait that much longer for any kind of cool conceptual car stuff. It's here. The, the Toyota Mirai. It's, it's, it's hydrogen powered. Honestly, I don't even know what that means. 
I, I, I don't even have words to describe my elation and excitement for a car like this because it just means you can drive and leave no footprint. You know, maybe a few drops of water here and there, but that's about it. Thanks to Toyota for sending me this, this car. Uh, it's going to be very exciting. We're going to be premiering it at uh, Wheels and Waves on Sunday. And if I happen to drive past you, if you're like hanging out, you know, on a street corner doing nothing and you want to ride, I'm the guy. But it's really, it's really amazing to be able to see a car like this come to fruition. You know, we were talking in the car as, uh, as we were making our way to the fueling station. And, you know, people succeed for two reasons and two reasons only. They know what they want, which is a big deal because you... You, you can't really make progress unless you know what you want. And you believe that you're going to get there. You have the strength, the belief, the faith that you're going to achieve. And you look at a company like Toyota and you look at the, the fact that this car is a game changer. I was told in the next 20 years that Toyota wants to make all of their cars uh, hydrogen fuel cars, not not just electric, not certainly not gas powered, but just hydrogen fuel. It's a tremendous achievement. It's clear that they know what they want and they believe that they can have it. So they're taking action every single day to be able to achieve that. Now, if you scale that down to our lives, you and me, if you can identify that what you want and, and you believe that you can get there, all you gotta do is take step after step. It's like walking to New York City. It's a long walk. You know it's gonna be tiring and everything else, but if you really wanna go, if you really want it, then you're gonna take one step after the other and eventually, over time, you gotta get there. I'm not condoning walking to New York City, but if you have something in your career, if you wanna get healthy and lose some weight, if you wanna change your diet and become a vegetarian and look totally awesome, <laughs> or do you want to drive a cool car, build a cool car? It's one step at a time, baby. That's all it is. And as a reminder, this is Fireball Malibu Vlog. Our job is to help you improve your lives through what you love. So make it happen, people, and we will see you tomorrow. we got all kinds of stuff going on this weekend. It's going to be cool! Along with the electric hydrogen car. They gave us a free Starbucks card, along with the, the hydrogen <laughs> car. I, I can't say it. Ready? <laughs> they gave us a free Starbucks.